Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a fair point. First of all, uh, we have a global footprint. As I said, you know, Eastern Europe is good for us. Asia, Australia, also Africa, I think, contribute very well to the results. You see it in the 2023 results. Then I think we have a significant decarbonization advantage. We are really pushing. We are the global player in the industry uh, who pushes for the global north and the global south a very, very convincing and transparent decarbonization strategy. And that eventually also plays into our numbers, clearly. Dominic, can I ask you specifically about Germany? Because we had some very stunning comments yesterday about downgrades from the German government, uh, effectively just uh, assessing what growth is going to look like this year, just 0.2% and down from 1.3% the estimate. And what was blamed here was uh, various different parts of the global economy impacting uh, what you're seeing domestically from uh, some of the impact of world trade being slow, but also higher interest rates. One sector in particular that was uh, showing some fatigue was the German house building market. Are you seeing that in the numbers? Yes, absolutely. We said uh, that the, the volumes in Germany also for us are significantly down over the, over the last uh, one or two years. That's absolutely true. It's uh, more than 20%. Uh, the house building sector is, I would say, a little bit in a confidence crisis. You know, there are too many things that have gone in the wrong direction. But as I said, and I think you had the discussion earlier in your program, Maybe there will be a good news coming from the interest front uh, because I'm positive inflation really comes down now in Germany. Maybe the ECB is actually earlier in their, de in their decrease of interest rates than we all uh, think. Let's wait and see. And if that comes, then obviously the confidence will also come back. Let me pick up on that point then. What sort of decline do we need to see in interest rates before it stimulates the market? Because even if we're talking about rate cuts, it's not like other monetary policy cycles before where we get rapid reduction because we're possibly we're going into recession. It feels like this time, because of the stickiness of inflation, any declines will be slower. So what sort of impact does that have on the market if we only see slow interest rate declines? Yeah, I think that's a fair point. But as I said, you know, I think it's a little bit more about confidence. You know, look how the interest rates shot up in a very, very short time frame. They shot up again. It's not like the world has not been building heavily on an interest rate level of three, four, five percent in the past. You know, it, it works. It's just people need to see the turning point, And then I'm very convinced they will come back.